Hi everyone, it's Luca, and welcome back to my finance channel. Today, we're going to talk about how the Rothschild family acquired power and wealth. You may have heard their name mentioned in conspiracies or alongside other wealthy families like the Rockefellers. But what did they do to earn their place in the limelight, and where are they today? The Rothschild family first gained international attention in the second half of the 18th century. Before we dive into the reasons behind their success, let's understand the cultural roots that allowed their rise to power. The Rothschilds are a Jewish family belonging to the Ashkenazi community, descendants of the Jews who settled in the Rhine Valley between France and Germany during the Middle Ages. It's easy to see why the family settled in Frankfurt, one of the major German cities of that time. Traditionally, Jewish families specialized in crafts, commerce, and financial lending. Experts propose various explanations for why some families, including the Rothschilds, focus primarily on financial lending. One reason could be that Christians and Muslims were prohibited from practicing banking activities, as the church had banned usury for all Catholic believers in Europe. Therefore, managing money and financial services, in general, became the prerogative of the Jewish community. Additionally, competition in these sectors was less fierce. However, Jews weren't the only ones involved in international finance. Before the 18th century, several Christian families had also made their mark in the banking sector. For instance, in the 1600s, the Medici family became bankers for the Pope, and in the mid-17th century, the Gers family became important bankers in Hamburg. To explain why Jewish families, such as the Rothschilds, had so much success in this sector and other high specialization sectors, professors Mari Stella Botticini and Zvi Eckstein proposed an alternative theory. According to them, during the Middle Ages, Jews began specializing in money lending because they had what it took to succeed in financial markets. On the one hand, these families had already accumulated significant capital through commerce and crafts. On the other hand, they had a high level of literacy and financial literacy, as well as a vast international network of families who could communicate with each other based on trust relationships. All these elements stem from their culture and religion, which emphasizes the ability to read and interpret texts, confront institutions of control like synagogues, and maintain relationships with their community. So, now that we have a better understanding of the cultural and historical context, let's focus on the Rothschild family itself. The name Rothschild comes from the Middle High German words Rot and Schild, meaning red shield. During the Middle Ages, Jews lived in well-defined areas of the city, known as ghettos. Frankfurt was no exception, and Jewish families were required by Emperor Frederick III of Germany to settle in the Judengasse in 1462. The few houses on the street were marked with symbols that over time became associated with the families that lived there, serving as their civic numbers. For example, one house was marked by the Red Shield emblem, which became the Rothschild symbol. And that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed learning about the Rothschild family and their rise to power, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more exciting finance content. Thanks for watching.